Hello, traders and welcome to the video presentation of the RobotFX Fluid Expert Advisor, which is a MetaTrader Expert Advisor capable of detecting the trend, opening, closing trades within a defined price movement, and also um, managing winning trades by trailing the price, setting stop losses, break evens, and so on, and recovering a lost trade by hedging it. Uh, and, and you can also hedge using the uh, trend. I will talk about this later. In this video, I will focus on uh, explaining how the expert advisor is detecting the trend and how it considers the trend, an uptrend or a downtrend. And before I start, I'd like to say that you can download the free demo of this expert advisor. Click the free download button right here and then select it from the uh, drop down list. Once you click on it, it will start a download and make sure you copy an experts folder and also make sure that you have in the indicators folder the non-lag uh, moving average indicator that the expert advisor uses to enter and sometimes exit, uh, exit the trades. Anyway, let's go back uh, to detecting the trend and how the expert advisor considers a trend. Basically, the expert advisor uses two main criteria to detect the trend. One is the relationship between the price and the slow moving average. And the default, with the default settings, the slow moving average is 200, uh, simple. And the second is the relationship between a fast moving average and a medium moving average. Uh, the default settings are 30 exponential moving average and 55 exponential moving average. And this works as follows. <clears throat> if the price, uh, more specifically the ask line, which is the red one, if the ask line is below the slow moving average, then the expert advisor will consider a downtrend and it will only focus uh, on selling. It will not open any buys, well, unless it is hedging, but this is uh, another video, another explanation. We are talking about the first trade initiated by the expert advisor. Um, assuming that you have no other trades on the chart, the expert advisor will focus on finding entries for sell. Now, if the price or the bid uh, line is above the slow moving average, then the expert advisor will only consider buying, only consider opening buy positions. And this is about the first criteria. I guess it cannot be more uh, simple than this. Now, the second criteria uh, involves the relationship between two uh, moving averages. Again, by default, 30 exponential and 65 exponential. And the expert advisor will consider a downtrend when the fast moving average, which is the green line, uh, is below the medium moving average. So basically it will search and try to find a, a sell entry from here until here. In this area they intersect again on the fast, it's above the medium, so basically it's an uptrend. And again, the fast moving average is below the slow moving average. We have another downtrend, <coughs> excuse me, according to this criteria. And finally, the fast moving average uh, rises above the medium moving average. And from this point, there is an uptrend until now. And of course, when the expert advisor considers the trend, as I said, it, it considers both of these criteria the relationship of the price and the slow moving average and the medium and fast moving average. So both of them summed up, we will have a downtrend from this point. Let me use this uh, drawing tool if I can. I'm not so good with it, by the way. We will have a, a downtrend from this point the price, uh, I don't like my dot, the price drops below the slow moving average and the, uh, the uh, what's his name, the fast moving average is below the medium moving average. It will have a no trade area right here because the two signals don't coincide and uh, you know what, I don't like this tool. Let's better use the uh, MetaTrader store. It will have a no trade area right here because although the, the price is under the slow moving average, the other signal, uh, trend signal don't coincide and the um, fast moving average is above the medium, not below. And means we resume the downtrend here when both signals coincide. 
uh, first price below the slow moving and fast moving um, under the medium moving average. So this is again a downtrend until this point where again the both signals don't coincide and for a short period of time we we'll have a no trading. Uh, that means the expert advisor will not search for any trade um, buy or sell if this happens and the trend signals don't coincide. Um, of course after that the price rises above the slow moving average and both uh, <coughs> the other moving averages, fast moving average, it's above the medium moving average. That means that we have a clear uptrend from this point until uh, the moment of uh, shooting this video. Now, um, however, you don't have, and let's go to the expert advisor settings, you don't have to follow the trend if you don't want to. Uh, you can simply deactivate the trend detector. Set the trend detector to false and the expert advisor will ignore the trend. Then it will open trades only based on the, the um, trading signal. I'll talk about the trading signal in the next video, not now. Uh, too much talk. Uh, but again, I would like to remind you that the, this robot that excluded expert advisor was designed as a trend trader. Um, and if you take a look at this picture example, what, what means trading with the trend? It means, let's say from this point, from somewhere this point until this point we had a downtrend. That means the expert advisor only search for sales. And we want to uh, sell, of course, when this peaks form, this lower highs form, sell right here, sell right here, sell right here. And with these settings in this picture, we can see that the expert advisor also closed the trade as soon as the price reversed and formed the other swing. So basically, this is trading with the trend, if, uh, if you didn't know. Um, as I said, you can deactivate the trend entirely. I suggest you not to, and I suggest you try with the trend. If you know what you're doing, uh, what you are doing, fine. Um, up to you. Deactivate it, and the expert advisor will ignore the trend and enter the trade only based on the trading signal. Uh, however, if you use the trend, there is another useful feature that you might use. Uh, you might need, and this is the draw background trend color. If you set this to true, then the expert advisor will uh, uh, basically change the color of the background uh, of the chart. Uh, we, you can use a different color for, uh, right, this is sizing all the time. You can use a different color for, for an uptrend, trend color up, which is now this uh, green color. You can use a, another color for, um, of course, trend down, so you can differentiate them. And for the ranging color, this yellowish color, which, uh, uh, well, again, you can change the color as you wish. And from this point, we can also get rid of the moving averages because we don't need them anymore. Basically, we don't need them on the chart anyway. Um, all right, this is it. Let me change the, the um, time frame. Maybe we can find another uh, another time frame and we will see another color or how the expert advisor changes the color. Oh, it's another trade here. It was a trading signal. Oh, never mind that now. All right, there it is. On the week one uh, time frame, as we can see, uh, there is a, uh, a, down, uh, a downtrend. So the color of the chart is uh, this uh, plum pink color. On the month, uh, one month time frame, there's an uptrend again, and so on. The color will change depending on the trend. So you, basically, you don't need other indicators or um, draw any other lines on the chart. Uh, if you if you choose the, the correct settings, uh, the right settings for um, these three um, three moving averages. Uh, by the way, these are the settings for the moving average. Here you have the slow moving average, uh, medium moving average, fast moving average. You can change the type, the method. You can make them simple, exponential, smoothed, and so on. You can change the length, the value, and the price uh, as you wish. Uh, make sure you tune it. This is um, well. This, these are the default settings, and they are somehow optimized for the 
H1 time frame. You will have to tune them for your time frame, your chart, uh, your trading style, and so on. And there is another uh, interesting thing about the, the background trend color. If you want to use it, if you don't like how it, um, how the background uh, color, which is basically a rectangle, an object. If you don't like how this takes uh, over the entire chart, then you can simply make it a, a like a line. Change the background trend y distance um, value. If you choose a positive value, then uh, this will drop down. As you can see now, it's just a thin line right there at the bottom. And the expert advisor will uh, redraw it. So it will stay there all the time. Um, maybe it's too thin and you don't see it. You can make it thicker. Or you can also choose a negative value. Let's say negative 700. If you want it to be located in the upper side of the chart. And again, you'll have to play with these settings until you find the, the correct ones for you to spot the trend and to make uh, sure you have a nice clear chart and not one that looks like, uh, you know, those thousand indicators and so on. And you don't understand anything. All right, so these are the default settings, and this is how the expert advisor uh, detects the trend. Um, um, one more short review before I close this video. It is a downtrend if the price, if the ask line is below the a slow moving average. Uh, if the default settings 200, simple. And it is an uptrend if the, the bid line is above this slow moving average. And again, it is a, a, a downtrend if <clears throat> the fast moving average, which is 30 exponential, is below the 55 exponential, uh, this being the media moving average. So I have a downtrend in this from here until here. Nothing happens in this area. And again, a downtrend from this uh, uh, point until this one. And opposite for the, the uptrend, of course, it is an uptrend if the fast moving average is above the medium moving average, 30 above 55. And the expert advisor combi combines both of these criteria to detect the trend. And one more time, you have the option, the trader has the option to uh, play with these moving averages and uh, tune them and find the right settings for the trading uh, chart and trading time frame and trading style and so on. And this is all about how the expert advisor detects the trend. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, uh, head to our website, or watch the other videos first of all, um, eventually use the contact page to let us know what's wrong. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.